I've always believed that every test in time comes with a great lesson for all of us. Right now, the whole world is suffering from global pandemic. But this global pandemic has a message for all of us. For the first time, the whole world has experienced self-isolation and social distancing for the first time. And I'll tell you something. For a person who's differently abled, there's nothing new in it. We, differently abled people, have been living lives in quarantine since forever. But this time, the whole world can actually feel what we feel. We self-isolate ourselves when we experience lack of acceptability. We feel socially distant when there is lack of accessibility in the world. Living in an accessible world is our basic human right that many of us are still deprived of. So I hope and I pray that when the whole world heals inclusively, let's ensure that in this process, we leave no one behind. You must have heard a word, or maybe you must have read it somewhere. Disability, or a person with disability. Being a wheelchair user myself, I don't believe in the word disability, or a disabled person. And I'll tell you why. Every time I read this word somewhere, or if I hear it, I cringe a bit. Because every time, if we put the word dis with someone's ability, we are knowingly or unknowingly questioning their abilities. You see, we live in a world which tends to celebrate sameness. And let's be honest, this world is still trying to figure out how to accept people who are unique, people who are differently abled. So when we diss someone's abilities, it doesn't seem right. It doesn't sound polite. It doesn't sound respectful. So this word disability or a person with disability does not exist in my dictionary. Let's delete it from our dictionaries. Let's change the narrative. Now is the time. I remember in 2015, when I was honored by BBC, because I was one of the BBC's top 100 women, here the local media shared the news with a caption which said, the paralyzed artist of Pakistan making us proud. Then in 2016, when I was honored by Forbes because I was in the list of Forbes 30 in the 30, the local media shared the news with a caption, the wheelchair-bound artist and anchor person of Pakistan making us proud. And here we are in 2020. And now it is the Iron Lady of Pakistan. Now imagine, it took me 12 years to change the narrative. But I'll tell you something, all along in this journey, I've believed in one thing, that every step that I take in my wheelchair and every word that I will say, it's going to pave a path for those who want to do something in life. People who have the courage and resilience to face the adversity. And also, it's going to pave the path for those who are ambitious. You all must be thinking that what should be the way out? How can we change the narrative? I'll make it easier for you. All we need is empathy. There is no room for sympathy. Here is this really interesting incident that happened to me some years ago. Some random gentleman came to me and he said, I really understand what you feel when you're in the wheelchair. Because a few years back, I broke my ankle and I sat in the wheelchair for one month. So many by I understand what you go through every day. And I replied, no, sir, you know nothing. You have no idea how it feels to be in the wheelchair permanently. You have absolutely no idea how it feels to deal with the paralyzed body. You have no idea about it. There is no comparison in pain. We can never claim that we understand someone's pain, but that's what sympathy is. 
Now I'll tell you how empathy looks like. If you see someone in pain, you don't go to them and tell them, we understand what you're going through. Instead, an empathetic person would say, I wish I could understand what you're going through. But here I am, sitting next to you, and I'm here to listen. Please share what's bothering you. That's empathy. So let's repeat. There is no room for sympathy. Only empathy is the need of the hour. While we are trying to change the narrative, let's be sure about one thing. There is no such thing as disability. This word disability has nothing to do with the human body. It's the name of that mindset which is unable to see the abilities in a human body. So let's be clear. There is no one who is disabled. Instead, people are unique, people are differently abled. This is the new narrative that we all must believe in. And now to those who feel intimidated when they see a differently abled person thriving and excelling in life. I have a message for you. If you see someone living their life to the fullest, if you see someone facing adversities with bravery and courage, don't get intimidated. Get inspired. Get motivated. Recharge yourself. Evolve. Grow. Create. Believe in your own magic because you have it in you. And don't be afraid to begin again. And to all the beautiful people who are unique, who are differently abled, those who are watching this video, this message is for you. You are not disabled. You are not paralyzed. You are not crippled. You are not handicapped. You are beautiful just the way you are because you are unique. Remember one thing. Some people are born in this world just to walk around and stand without any purpose in life. Whereas, luckiest are those who are born in this world to make the mark and to stand out. If you are that one unique person, congratulations. Shine on and do not let this world dim your light.